Welcome to the testing world. So friends, we know JMeter 4 is live now from the JMeter website. Now you can download JMeter 4 version. Now I'll show you what is the difference between the JMeter 4 and the previous version. So these are the few differences. These are the common differences that you will face while working on the new version of the JMeter, which is JMeter 4. So here I have opened both the version. This is my 3.1 version. And now I'll show you this is the 4.0 version. You can notice few GUI changes, few icons has been changed, but I'm going to explain you major changes. First change, which I'll explain, it's a default GUI. So before default GUI was on gray color, now they have changed the default GUI and it's on black color. But we have the options like we can go here and look and feel and we can choose different GUI. But by default GUI, which we are having in JMeter 4 is black. Second and the most important is workbench dropped. Okay, what does it mean? So previous version you have seen when we are going to JMeter, we are getting two sections. One is test plan and other one is workbench. In the workbench, we can maintain our temporary data and we also use this for recording purpose. Now in JMeter 4, they have dropped workbench means we are not getting workbench okay then how we can record our script they have given recording option here in the test plan itself so we are getting non test element these elements are used for recording so previously we have a separate section which is workbench now we do not have this section that workbench section is dropped so now i'm moving to next is support for java 9 as we know recently java 9 is in the market so previous version of the jmeter was supporting till java 1.8 version but now this new jmeter is supporting java 8 as well as java 9 next json assertion okay as we know we can use jmeter for api performance testing as well and we know when we are testing api in many cases we are getting response in the form of JSON. Here we got a new assertion with the help of which we can assert or I'll say we can validate JSON file. If I show you in JMeter 4, so here we have an option of, I'm just creating a thread group and there I'm going for assertions and we have the option of JSON assertion. So this JSON assertion is recently added. It was not available in the previous version. Okay, I'll show you in the previous version. Here I'm going to edit thread group and in thread group I'm adding assertion. So you will not find JSON assertion here. So this is the JSON assertion which is recently added. Next is boundary extractor. That is one of the most important part when we want to fetch any data from the response. Like I'm hitting a request, I'm sending a request to the server and whatever the response we are getting, we want to extract some data. For extracting the data, we need to define some boundaries. And previously we are defining these boundaries by writing script or by manually. But here we got a new stage, which is boundary extractor. And this stage is available in post processor. So here we get post processor and you will get boundary extractor here. Next is Test plan save automatically. That's most important. Okay, what I do, first of all, when we are creating any test plan, so I'm creating here a test plan with a sampler HTTP request. Okay, first of all, when we go for execution, it asks, you did not save it, who would you like to save it? I would say yes, I'm saving it anywhere. So I'm saying like jmeter4, right. After that, whatever the changes you want to make, like I want to make changes, I want to add a listener. So whatever the changes you want to make, after making changes, you need not to save it again and again. When you run it, it automatically saved. So advantages, JMeter plans are saved automatically when we are running it. And that is added in JMeter 4 version. So these are the major changes we are, get, we are going to get with jmeter4 that's all we have for the session thanks for watching this video